Yo guys, welcome back to Leadfoot TV. My name is Ash and today we're going to be flipping this 2001 Honda Civic. So I have three jobs and outside of my jobs, like one of my hobbies is just making money. So I have several forms of like passive income where I do, I do almost no work and get paid for it while I'm sleeping or eat <laughs> while I'm sleeping or at my other jobs. And, and then I have a few forms of um, income where I, where I make what like where I make money from doing very little work and one of my most profitable ways of um, making money like that is by flipping cars so I don't do many of these I, I probably do like between five or ten a year it just depends on what pops up and what um, what opportunities I have more than anything else I, I don't actively go out to look for them I usually just go off the cars that people approach me for because they tend to be the ones that you get for really cheap and are at an absolute bargain the ones you go looking for there is less i always find is there's less profit in them so i always try to find cars that need little to no work um unless i think that there is a big margin of profit in them you will have seen that i have a mazda 3 mps which i'm currently doing up over a couple of months and and the only reason that i'm doing that is because there there will be a big chunk of profit in it at the end I hope so that that one was an exception but generally I'll look for cars that um that don't need a lot of work so today I'm in this Honda Civic so basically the story behind this car is my friend Mark messaged me saying there was an elderly couple at the end of his road selling a Honda Civic for a hundred quid went to go and have a look at it and it was in reasonable reasonably decent condition it, it doesn't need any work really so uh, they had it up for 100 quid. I managed to actually bark them down to 50 quid. <laughs> and then um, I felt a bit sorry for them because they were like really attached to the car. So we we agreed to meet in the middle and settled at 75. Um, and I so I, I, I just came home, took pictures of it and stuck it straight up for sale. At the moment, I've only advertised it on Facebook Marketplace just because that is a free form of advertising. So I put it up for 450. I, I pretty much got a bite straight away. So there is somebody coming to view it tonight. And um, yeah, which is a good start. So I got a bite straight away, 450 quid. Um, one thing I would recommend when you're advertising a car is go into as much detail as possible and try and use almost all of you, all of, all the pictures that they allow you to take. So on Facebook, they allow you to take 20 pictures. I've taken 15 because I felt like that was enough with the, this kind of car. Um, but the more pictures you take, the more people will be interested and the more details you give. Like if you got, you will not sell a car if you don't have, don't put how much mileage it's got if you don't put how how much MOT is left on it um, don't put whether it's got service history you're not going to sell it at the end of like regardless it, it, it's very unlikely that you're going to sell a car so those things are very important to, to mention in your listing and um, yeah just go into as much detail as you can obviously try to be as accurate with the description as you can so like on this car it has a few knocks and stuff on the outside I've pictured all of the all of the damage and the knocks and the little bits of rust on it um, and put them in the pictures so that when people come to view it they don't go oh look there's a knock there you've not mentioned that um, let's negotiate on the price if they already know up front they've got no form of negotiate negotiating on the price with you because that's what they expected before you came so just be try to be as detailed and accurate about the car as possible and um, and then people have less ammo ammunition to to negotiate on price with you that way um, so this this car has a few knocks and scrapes on the outside uh, the interior is in re really good condition there's just a rip on the driver's bolster but other than that it's been really well looked after it actually uh, still has all the original floor mats in it and everything um, it's had one owner from new it's done 86,000 miles and um, yeah MOT till November so great little great little start it's just from the outside it, it's it looks a bit tatty um just because it's been bumped into stuff quite a few times and there's rust developing on the rear arches so yeah just bear bear that in mind like try to be be as detailed as you can when you come to sell it um i'll always list on the free forms of advertising first because obviously if you start paying for advertising that 
that eats into your profit. So like using Facebook advertising, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, um, they're, they're two very good ways of advertising a car for free. The other, the other way of advertising a car is one most people don't think about is just let people know that you've got the car. So like tell, you, tell your family, tell your friends that you've got this car for sale. Um, a lot of the time I've sold cars like that, I haven't even bought, had to bother listing them or I'll, I'll, I'll sell them that way before I've even gone and bought the car. So like I'll let my family know and they'll be like, oh yeah, my friend's, my friend's daughter's learning to drive at the moment. She wants a really cheap car. Um, I'll let her know and then she'll let they'll my family will let them know that they've that I've got a car for sale and they'll come look at it and I've sold cars that way quite a few times so don't underestimate just telling people that you've got the car it can sell a car for you really really well and um yeah but let's um let's jump out have a look at it have a look around this like I say I've already got somebody coming to look at it this evening um once I put it on Facebook marketplace I've pretty much got a bite like within an hour somebody came to wanted to come and view it so let's uh jump out have a look around i'll show you what condition it's in and um yeah so give just give you a rough idea of what the whole situation is so from inside it's uh in pretty decent condition as you can see um i took i took these floor mats out because they looked a bit a bit naff they were uh, it's got the original factory floor mats in the front and the back and the front as you can see and they're like uh the big full piece mats and i just thought they looked a lot tidier so i've i took the i took these ones out but as you can see anyway the interior is in very good condition they actually cleaned it all out for me before i bought it which was an absolute bonus because that doesn't happen a lot you will if you're buying a cheap car you'll usually find it in an absolute tip so um the fact that I don't even have to really clean it out like it's not perfect but it's sellable so um if I don't have to clean it I'm not going to clean it because it time is money so, so um yeah just bear that in mind like if you get a clean car it's just an absolute bonus so yeah that's the inside pretty decent condition under the bonnet we've got um yeah so just a 1.6 um single overhead cam vtec so d-series engine uh it's a bit dirty under here normally if i was trying to sell a car i would clean under here and make it just because if you've got clean engine bay it looks like it's been like maintained a bit better but with this i'm just trying to just buy it sell it do no work on it we'll see how it goes if i struggle start struggling to sell it i'll clean i'll start cleaning it up a little bit but at the moment the less work i can do the better so um yeah it's it's not horrendous under here so i'm just going to leave it as it is for now um but you will find that having a clean un engine bay under a car is a really good way to sell a car people will always think that it's been really well looked after if you've got a really clean engine bay so um if you if you're trying uh, if you're trying to advertise a car clean the engine bay take an engine bay shot and put that in your in your for sale ad and it, it does help sell the car extremely well so yeah that's one thing to look out for and then from the outside we've it's just a five door honda civic hatchback uh sorry if there's a bit of wind noise it, it's it's a bit windy i haven't cleaned it um as you can see could probably do with a little bit of a clean but i'm not gonna bother so yeah here we are one uh 1.6 honda civic and got a little bit of a um a cut in the bumper there some scrapes uh a little bit of rust bubbling up on the on the front of the bonnet uh, and yeah these this is this is the the worst part about the car is the the arches have been repaired because they started to rust so i've mentioned that in the advert i've made sure i mentioned that in the advert i've mentioned the scrape on the front i've mentioned all these little dings in the in the bodywork lights cracked at the bottom you've got this whatever that was i don't even know what that was i guess they bumped it into a post or something at some point um yeah and then the other side with the rust as well uh but re like it's a bit tatty on the outside but mechanically it's absolutely brilliant so um yeah you can't really argue with it it's that's what it is <laughs> so yeah that's that's what it looks like and uh, I've got a buyer coming to look at it tonight for 450 quid. Um, so I, I will 
pick up the video there and we'll see if we sell it for the full asking price or see how much we get for it. Um, I'm going to try and push for 400 at least. Uh, if I get 350, I'll be happy. But for if I can get 400, that'll be perfect. So yeah, we'll pick up the video once the uh, once the buyer's been. I'll let you know if it's sold. If it hasn't sold, um, what went wrong with the sale and everything like that. So yeah, we'll we'll pick it up there. So here's my listing. As you can see, um, it's sold. I, it it did sell for 400 quid. I put it up for 450 originally, but didn't have that much interest after the first person came to look at it. He came and looked at it for his son, and then I don't think his son was that interested in it. So, um, yeah, I ended up reducing the price to 400, and then two people came for it once I reduced it for 400. And um, the first guy came and looked at it, said he was going to let me know, because basically he was trying to knock me down on the price. And then the second person came... And, um, yeah, just gave me the full 400 quid for it. And, yeah, the first guy that was thinking about it ended up coming back to me, offers me 350, and I said no, and then he offered me the full 400, and then I was like, well, it's actually it's actually sold now, so <laughs> you can't have it. So it would have sold either way. Um, but, yeah, this... I've just taken a, um, a picture from every angle, so you can see, like any damage or anything like that. I've taken the interior front and back inside the boot. I, I took inside the boot because the boot was just re really clean and uh, I, th I thought it was just a nice thing to add. Uh, engine bay picture, the damage on the boot and the bumper and the arch. Um, I didn't picture both arches basically because you can only um, have 13 pictures. I thought it was 20, but yeah, Apparently it's 13 and then the damage on the front bumper and then for the listing I've just put obvious like what the car is so the year the and then engine size um, people always want to know the engine size because yeah like it's just one of the main things you want to know so make sure you put that in the MOT expiry date's really important the mileage is really important um, I always put like if it's manual transmission or automatic on Facebook because sometimes um, up here where it says manual transmission, sometimes it, it says automatic even though you select manual. I don't know why. Um, so I just make sure I put that in when I do Facebook. And um, yeah, just any any extras, any positives about the car. So I've put that it's had one owner from new. Uh, comes with two spare sets of keys. It's got like CD player remote central locking electric windows car, cars mechanically good it should go through its next mot and then um yeah just mentioned all the stuff like the rear arches and um yeah the the dings and stuff like that um yeah so that one sold for 400 and then since then i actually bought another ep civic um uh, which i got last week um so this one was in a lot better condition than the last one so um as you can see it's really really clean and um yeah this one popped up on ebay so i wouldn't normally do this but this yeah this one popped up on ebay um for, it started the auction at 350 and nobody bid on it so i messaged the buyer after it had finished um and said yeah i'll give you 350 for it if you if you'll sell it for that and he said yeah that's fine um but you can see like the sills on it are absolutely immaculate had had um spare wheel and all the tools in it so i took a picture of that um in the boot again and the interior shots and then you just your typical angles um there wasn't really any damage or anything on this so i didn't have to take any pictures of the damage because the car was in really good condition and um yeah pretty much the same layout for sale layout as the, the other one is just include all the really important details so like um Again, what the car is, the 1.6 Civic, um, donate 88,000 miles, MOT, and yeah, overall it's just really good condition, this one, so I didn't have to list too much, and uh, yeah, just so I just listed a few of the things like um, what it benefited from again, like the other one, so like the air conditioning worked in it, uh, had heated electric mirrors, electric windows, sunroof, remote central locking, comes with a spare key, 
Um, that's really important because a lot of used cars don't come with spare keys. I put that it comes with full size spare wheel and the tools. And then it had a brand new set of tires on it not long before I bought it. So I, I made sure I mentioned that because that's obviously a big selling point is somebody that knows that they don't have to get any tires anytime soon is like that's that's a a really good way of um yeah like they're going to save money obviously so that one i i didn't do a video on this one basically because i bought it i picked it up paid for it for, on ebay um late one night and then by midday the next day somebody came and bought the car so um yeah, I did absolutely nothing again to this car. I didn't clean it or anything like that and uh, made 250 quid on it. So that was awesome. So yeah, it, um, that is my first two, well, two flip cars really, but mainly one. <laughs> um, so I, I hadn't planned on Civics. I didn't have that in mind. I will literally buy whatever, it, whatever comes up. Um, it just happened that the first two were two were civics and uh yeah made decent money on both both of them for doing absolutely nothing really i just picked them up and sold them straight away that doesn't happen very often i was just very lucky with those two um i will try and like every video that i film on do, on this i will try and like give you a little bit of tips and stuff because i have done it a, a long long time probably like well like at least 10 years and um I've had hundreds and hundreds of cars over the years, so I have done it a lot. I usually tend to stick to like lower end cars just because they sell a lot quicker, like small engine stuff. Um, occasionally I'll I'll branch out and I'll do like a, a performance car, but you do find they sell a lot, lot slower performance cars, um, especially if you've got more money in them. And the, the risk with that is um, performance cars aren't as reliable as like these little one liter, or 1.4 engine cars so like you might get it and have problems with it which is how it's played out a lot of the time when i've gone down that route so i do tend to steer away from it a little bit um and definitely if you're only just starting out you wanting to start out and do it um i definitely stick to the lower lower end cars like probably as low as you can go like one liters getting like micros yaris's stuff like that um, just because they sell so quick, because obviously people learning to drive or people that just want to run around to get to work, they they want small engine cars, so they sell super quick. And because they're a lot more reliable, there's less chance that you're going to get all the, all the kind of hassle and shit with them. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's helped you out. I'll try and put a little tips in each one to try and like reduce your learning curve if you're just starting out. And um, if you've got any tips for me, then drop it in the comments because every little helps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I have bought the next flip car. Um, I've got my eye on another one as well, which is on an eBay auction. I know I said, I just said that I don't do that very often, but there is another one that I'm keeping my eye on. Whether I'll get it or not, I don't know, but I have got the next one definitely. Um, so yeah, uh, keep an eye out for that. And I will do a, uh, a special video for the before the um, year ends and uh, hope you've all had an awesome Christmas and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.